Welcome back. I am back with former director of national intelligence, John Ratcliffe. John, we have a few minutes left. I want you to talk about the events of the week. We saw the Supreme Court push back on special counsel Jack Smith's motion to get them to give him an answer whether President Trump has immunity. Uh, give us your take on what has taken place this week. Well, Maria, obvious, stating the obvious, uh, it was a big legal victory for President Trump and a big legal setback uh, for Jack Smith. Uh, but I would argue that uh, Jack Smith lost more than just a legal issue at the Supreme Court. He, he lost credibility. It, it, this, this may be his Mueller moment. Uh, your viewers will rem remember when special counsel Bob Mueller uh, struggled and stumbled to find an answer and ultimately couldn't answer why he applied a different standard to Donald Trump than anyone else ever prosecuted or uh, under investigation by the Department of Justice, meaning that Donald Trump had to conclusively prove his innocence rather than have a presumption of innocence um, as our bedrock standard, Bob Mueller lost all credibility and he and his report drifted away. And I would submit that, that this is the Bob Mueller moment for Jack Smith because everyone remembers, Maria, that he stood before the American people when he indicted Donald Trump and he said, we have one set of laws and they apply equally to everyone. Donald Trump will be treated the same as every other defendant. But when Donald Trump's legal team came forward with a, a legal defense of presidential immunity, that threatened uh, a trial date taking place before the political election in 2020, Jack Smith did a 180 and he went to the Supreme Court and said, forget everything I told you. Now Donald Trump is completely different. This is extraordinary. We have to have an expedited review. You have to look at this uh, immediately. And uh, I think the Supreme Court, the way they rejected this unanimously with, with one sentence saying, you know, uh, uh, petition denied, I think reflects that they saw what we all saw, um, which is that the very same Justice Department that said, hey, you know, six years to consider charges against a guy named Biden was plenty fast. <laughs> but when it comes to a guy named Trump, for some reason, uh, we have to have this trial take place before the election. And keep in mind, Maria, keep in mind that the speedy trial uh, provisions of the Sixth Amendment yeah. are the defendant's right, not the government's right. And so, yes. uh, yeah, so, you know, I, th I think that this was nakedly partisan and overtly political, and it was revealed, um, you yeah. know, to the Supreme Court that that's how Jack Smith is operating, you know. All right. Yep. Great points all around. Great to see you, John. Merry Christmas to you and family. From Director of National Intelligence, John Ratcliffe, thank you. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.